name is Magnus. Hi, I'm Magnus. from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I can't speak. I'm from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Um, I'm really glad that we were able to make it up here and support the first open mic for Unraveled Influence. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, with that said, I'll go ahead and dive into my two pieces. Uh, the first piece will be Conversations with My Mother. Just to start off, I have mommy issues. <laughs> when will you realize I'm not you? Your mistakes are yours and yours alone. Your mistakes belong to your generation, birthed from the way that you were raised, the way you were told the world would turn out. Your mistakes were birthed from willful ignorance. It did, if it didn't happen to you, it didn't happen. And if it did happen to you, well, it still doesn't exist. Your mistakes were raised on pride as you tried to raise me. Turn the other cheek if it doesn't concern you. Bottle it inside if you're not a concern. When will you let me make my own mistakes? When will you let me learn from them? You'll have to do this crazy thing called trusting your daughter to make the right decisions for herself. And trusting her that she'll still be a good daughter when she makes the wrong decisions. Because she will, just as you have. You've instead turned into an obstacle for the course you insist is mine to travel. The course you've been put, the course you've been put through by generations before me. All while keeping your eyes to the ground and your words in your throat. Those words turn to vile later, leaving feminist scars on the mind and heart of your daughter, who learned that silence was a safe haven. You won't stop. You won't drop your ego long enough to give a shit. If I close and lock the door behind me, after all, you taught me well. That skeletons of the past can't touch you if you sent at the closet shut. When will you stop filling my head with insecurities and mistrust? When will you be the mother I needed all these years? When will you love me? Because the resentment is mutual. Conversations with my mom, they're non existent. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this next piece was published in Stick Figure Poetry, which is based out of Easton, Pennsylvania, uh, called Songs and Qualms. I wrote letters to God to confess sins that never belonged to me, to confess sins that she planted in my mind's voice. Why was I the suitcase brimmed with her traumas, packed in a hushed rush to fold, fold, keep untold? But when I tried to unpack mine, she was so cold, so sold on soul, so sold on school, she slapped my sass with her slipper soul. I wrote letters to God for divine intervention, begging for the torture to end. She only paid attention to me to cast me in the role of punching bag, to remind me I'm a burden, to remind me I'm not wanted. I was ready to meet, sorry, I was ready to return to sender, ready to return to a home that must be better than my own. I was ready to be untethered, to commit this unholy act, to surrender, to meet his holy skies. I wrote letters to God that became letters to myself. Why did he neglect my cries for help? He was nothing more than an echo chamber. So the last letter to God that I wrote was a farewell and see you soon, was the last confession of the sins I did commit, was another letter unsent under my phone and pill bottles, switched to do not disturb the dead. He left me to make my own choices, but divine intervention must exist after all. Divine intervention is equivalent exchange, as a bird banged into my window, startled me out of overdose slumber. I did not succeed in my attempt. He wasn't ready for me to come home. Again, my name is Magnus. You can find me on Instagram at Magstetic. That is M-A-G-S-T-H-E-T-I-C. Thank you. Woo!